Welcome to another tutorial series, Blender tutorial series. Series. This is part two of the distillation column Blender tutorial series for a beginner's yeah. project in Blender 3.0. Today we're going to make we're going to make the distillation column the cylinder part of the distillation column. To start off with making the assembling the distillation column, we first inserted the trace that we created from part one and we duplicated it in order to replicate the stack of trays which resembles the distillation column for this tutorial for this project we're going to put in five trays inside our distillation column the trays the tray is duplicated and is placed on top of each other so the duplicated tray is then rotated at 90 degrees and is properly placed so that they will be aligned to each other. We go back to the CD model in order to see the dimensions that we need to follow. A square mesh was inserted. This will serve as a guide to know the proper distances between each frames. We duplicated the bottom trace and copied it on top of it. This is going to be how the inside of the distillation column will look like. It contains five trays, each with alternating paths. Next thing is to insert the outer cylinder of the distillation column. To, inter to insert the cylinder, we just insert a cylinder mesh, go to edit mode, select the top part, top vertices, and drag it along the z-axis 
to increase to increase its height. We use the square mesh again so to act as a guide for our dimensions. The cylinder was adjusted according to the height, the proper height of the distillation column. Same thing will be done on the bottom part of the cylinder. You select the cylinder, click edit mode, select the bottom vertices and drag down along the z-axis to adjust the height of the distillation column. We adjust the whole thing along the origin. Next is to sh to click Ctrl R to insert some lines in between the distillation column. This will be helpful in closing up the top and bottom portion of our distillation cylinder, the outer cylinder. So we click edit mode, click the top vertices and close it up by scaling it down. We click the middle middle vertices and scale it down in order to create this cone shape feature in the top and bottom part of our cylinder. We do the same thing for the bottom part. We insert many layers by clicking Ctrl R and then we select the bottom vertices close it up by scaling it down same with the middle vertices scale it down to create this cone shaped feature To smoothen out the top and bottom part, we inserted many layers in between by clicking Ctrl R. This will add many subsections which will, which will smoothen out the top and lower portion. So Ctrl R insert many layers to achieve that nice smooth curve and adjust everything until it looks satisfactory. This is how it's gonna, going to look like after we made a few more adjustments. Once you're satisfied, you can then do the same to our bottom area of the cylinder.
So same thing as we did in the top part, we click Ctrl R to insert many subsections. This will create smoother curves along the lines and will smoothen out the appearance of the bottom section. Constantly adjust the subsections to create that smooth curve along the bottom section. After adjusting, this is how it's going to look like once it's done. This is the inside and this is the outside of the distillate column. And that's it for part 2 of the distillation column blender tutorial series for beginners project.